Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's a special video, video uh, 100. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for the support and the nice uh, comments. Really nice, it's really all over the globe. And uh, yesterday I received an uh, email from uh, Chile and uh, I have received from Russia. It is uh, very nice, everyone is responding very uh, nicely. Uh, today I have uh, I have another Kitli. You you maybe have seen my uh, 199 here. Uh, I didn't make a review about it yet, or the 177. I think I did that. But now I have here a 195A, and it is a little bit bigger, <laughs> but it looks really nice. And uh, yeah, it is, uh, uh, of course, a uh, very professional Kitli makes really nice stuff. If I look here at the volts, it can, the DC volts can go uh, up to one kilo volt. The, the amps can go up to two amps. Well, okay. The AC volts can go up to uh, 700 volts. So you can really measure some, uh, some proper values. Um, I have this one from a seller and he already said, well, he didn't look at it yet, but he said the values are uh, are not that stable. The voltage is okay, but once you go on the ohms uh, range, it is really, yeah, it's it's not stable. Sometimes it go up, sometimes it go down. It is uh, not good, but uh, I didn't mind because uh, I just wanted to see, to see it. So uh, it is here and uh, I'll just, just have a look. Oh, well, yeah, we have a close up. So you can really see it's the 195A. It is kidly. I, I really like the design. The color is kind of questionable. But uh, yeah, it, it makes them very distinct. If you see immediately, it's a, it's a kidly. So uh, that is, uh, yeah, that is also nice. And, and the buttons are so different from the. 199 here it's it's nice tip uh, tip 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 little buttons and here they made the decision also the meter is a lot higher the width is uh, is about the same i will compare them later and uh, but the bit buttons are huge square buttons so uh, yeah this seems more for uh, also for rougher environments the meter is stronger it looks uh, good, and this is really more delicate now, the 199. But uh, yeah, first we're gonna check uh, if we can also see if the values are uh, not that stable or. Well, quick comparison, as you can see, there is uh, yeah, there is a, a difference. I would say uh, well less than an inch, like two centimeters, and uh, so it is a bit bigger. And also there is a big, uh, but I think this is to protect the buttons. So as I said, it looks really to be made in a rougher environment than, than this one is. Because if this one is hit on the front, you, you push your buttons. No? And, uh, the, and here it's all protected. So uh, that, that looks nice. Well, the width is about the same. And... Uh, but the color scheme is more or less the same. It also has nice fit. Perfect. Well, let's play a little bit with uh, the voltage reference and the resistor box. So first the voltage reference. So first we see if it even switch on. Well, it probably works better with some power. Also, there is a whole menu on the top, but uh, yeah, I made already a picture and I will try to take it off because yeah, it, it doesn't look that nice. Uh, it does switch on, that is nice, good start. And uh, you can see the display, that is good. It is uh, scanning already. And put it in auto mode. Okay. Well, you see this with with more voltage meters because of the high impedance. 
uh, yeah, it will just show create values. You can see it's minus three, so that is really low. It's all below one volt. And uh, usually when you just short the pins, it gets more stable. Well, as you can see, this is really zero because it's point zero zero zero, and then it's minus three. So this is uh, zero. And I think you can even zero it. Then you say, okay, this is zero. But let's not, not do that. Let's leave it as it is. Um, we put the voltage reference. It is in auto ranging. Let's put the 2.5 volts. Well, that seems to be very stable to me. That is good. It is a little bit off. But it also needs to, to stabilize now. Yeah, we just switch it on. If we have 5 volts here, it should be a little bit above 5, 0, 0, 0, 1. And here, but we're talking about the really microphones here. 7.5, and it should be 10. And 10, 0, 0, 0, 7. So, but maybe if we... Uh, if we put it on zero, let's see. If we say zero, this is zero. If it works like this, I have no clue. Is it then 10? Mm, nah, doesn't. Okay, but this all seems very stable to me, so that is okay. Then we have the resistance box. Yes, overload, yes, I understand. Yes, indeed, if we short the pins, it says it's like 20 ohms, which of course is not the case. Can we do this zero trick here or no? No, it jumps, jumps everywhere. Okay, this should be 194, 4K. Do we have 4K here? No, it says it's 1K. Because this is 3. And we are almost at 1 here. So this makes no sense. It should now it's 1K. And it's actually correct. Wait. What if I put a uh, 2K? Doesn't seem that, yeah, okay, now now it should be 3, and now it says it's 1.8. This is 4K, and now it says 2.2. Uh, so, and it's moving. So this is indeed not stable. Well, while, while plugging in the, the power in the bag, I found out that we also have connectors in the back and maybe connectors in the back uh, do work and then we need to switch the inputs over here in the back. Now we say rear connectors and we have the sense and the ohms, so we put the ohms. Now let's see if the rear works better. First, we try the voltage. Voltage, auto mode. Perfect. That we also had in the front. Oh, look, this is five. The value in the back is better. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Let's go to the arms. Then we go back to 1K. Uh, sorry, 1, 1 and a little bit because this one is a little bit off, but 
arms him out. Yes. Look at this. One K. Well, it is plus three. So that's one K, I would say. Two K. Three K. Four. Five. Six. And it's stable. So I think it's the whole story. As I have told many times before, clean the switches, clean the switches. So, and in this case, it's of course not the push buttons, but it's the switch in the back that switches from the front terminals to the back terminals. I have did uh, the same with another meter that also had connectors in the back and the front. And with the Flucus, uh, it is always the same story, clean the switches. So uh, it's also nice because we can open it up and then you have a look inside. Yeah, it, it really looks uh, strong and uh, the same story is, uh, is in the back, if you see here. It is all big screws, also again protection, so if you have it like this, nothing gets broken. And uh, yeah, it's just well built. This is really different from the 199. The 199 also has a little bit protection, but yeah, it is, it, it is different. This one is really meant to be on your desk. And I think this one could also be in the, in, in the factory. You really see it's a different uh, build style. So, uh, but uh, let's open it up. Okay, all, all screws out from the back. And uh, we can just open it. Ah, look at this. Easy to clean, that will be fine. I hope we can get this weird sticker off. And what we have here. Well, we have here. Calibrated by 99901 inspected by okay so this is sorry i was a little bit distracted um and 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 as you can see the here is the switch in the back and it just switches from here to the switch to the front. So there is one long wire that goes from the terminals all the way to the front. And really, what I see here with one of the pins is the screw is not tight. It is just loose. I've never seen that before. So uh, I would just try to, maybe we don't even need to clean the switch, what we're going to do anyway, but that would be very, very simple. Yeah, really one of the nuts. It's just not... Uh, and if you if you measure voltage, it doesn't matter too much because the high impedance. But yeah, if you want to measure ohms, then you start to put a little bit of current. Yes, and then it needs to be stuck, of course. Uh, maybe this is already fixed. <laughs> Let's put some power. Uh, front. <laughs> Three sister box.
No, so it's more than just this. Yeah, 1000, 2000. Okay, we also need to clean the switches as well. But uh, of course it doesn't. It doesn't help if the No, now it's good. Three. Hmm, no, okay. So this is what it looks like in the inside. As you can see, it's again built very strong. The transformer, they put extra bolts just to be sure. Uh, well, here we have the switch I talk about with the connectors. Well, you can see now how it switches. This is the gray, this is the center pin, this is the gray for the back. Here is the red center pin, red for the back. Well, we have that also with the black and the black for the back. And the, for the amps, we have here the white one, center pin, and the other white one that goes to the back. So that switch just switches from one from the front to the back, and then the, well the connections of course go into the PCB. Here we have some uh, trigger stuff. This I don't know. This seems this one says ohm sense that goes in this block. So maybe this is uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, I want to take off the front that I see there is a screw down here and a screw down here but the screw down here is underneath the switch so that means we probably need to take out the PCB first um, and I think I want to do that because I want to give it a proper clean and also I wonder what is in this uh, box and uh, yes it's it says here ohms sense so Probably they are, yeah, they put the current through and they measure the voltage in this box. It's a little bit like a shint, but then for, for ohms measurements. So let's have a, have a look in the, in the magic box. Well, before I start just pulling wires and I just wanted to be sure that there is no battery that, that holds the calibration uh, because I do see here two adjustment screws on this on this PCB but I also saw that you can calibrate it with uh, with the buttons in the front so I, I actually don't want to touch this uh, start adjusting until I know what it is uh, of course and uh, yeah, before I, I pull any wires, because the colors are here, no, it just says red, blue, white. It exactly says where you need to put the wire, so that's not a problem. But I just need to be sure if there is nothing that has a, a, a battery. Oh, now we took it all apart. Um, now we have a, a good uh, good access to the front. I will take out the display and then we can really clean it very well. Um, also here we have the, the switch that uh, we need to try to clean that it switches better back to front. And in the end, if I cannot make that work, if somehow it doesn't work, I just change the back to the front because I'm not going to use the front. And as you can see, that's also easy to do. I try to zoom in a bit. Just a sec. Oh, I need to turn a little bit the camera. Sorry about it. So, if you, as you can see here, there is here a red for the front and a red for the back. A green for the front green for the back etc black and black so and 
yeah, I can just make the switch work the other way around just by changing the red, changing the green, changing the etc. And then uh, at least it works in the front. But of course, first I'm going to try to just clean it. Usually that is just a solution. Okay, the main thing is now that we need to... Everything looks now very nice and clean a lot. But of course, the main objective was to, to have proper measurements. So we need to clean the switch. Uh, I think that maybe if we tilt it a little bit backwards and uh, the cleaner can get in. Again, I'm using the WD-40. It's not the standard one. This is the specialist contact cleaner. And this usually works super good. And we just spray it in. We can use a lot. That's okay. Just clean a little bit the excess. And because it is uh, tilted forward, it will just leak in and all the dust will get out. Yeah. And these switches is always a problem because you don't use them too much. Because you use or the front or the back and maybe once in it lives it changed it. So that is mostly it. I will also see if all the screws in the back are tightened enough, because that's also important to have a good connection. And then we clean a little bit more and we put it back together. Okay, we did uh, clean the switch. Uh, we put it back together, but well, you can all already see with the cleaning, the display is a lot uh, more clear already. And uh, first we see the voltage, but that was never a problem. So, uh, It seems good and it's fast, pack, pack, pack. It's scanning super fast, poof, poof, poof. That is nice. Now let's see the resistance. We should have uh, about 1K and that only worked. Ha. I would say this is 1k. <laughs> cool. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, this, this thing is not that precise, but the uh, It is super stable. Seven, eight, nine K. Perfect. Four ohms. 
three, two, one, zero, including all the cables. I think this looks good. I think we fix it. Okay, I uh, put it all back together again. In the, first, I tried with a lot of IPA alcohol that didn't work, and then at some point, I just uh, washed it in the sink and I took all the paper off, and uh, most of it uh, is gone. It has a little bit, you can see. The color changed of all the year sunlight that was blocked and the rest not, but uh, I think it looks better. And uh, I just did the calibration and it's actually quite simple. As you can see, it is now spot on because it should be 24989. Well, you see, it does that. This should be five. Well, that is uh, five, I would say. 7.5 and this should exactly be 10 and it should be 10 0, 0, 0, 7. and that's actually exactly what it is so how, how do you calibrate I can show you what you need to do is uh, you, you, you just input uh, a voltage that you know is correct and I know it is uh, 10 how oh, we can maybe yeah I, I just calibrate it on the highest uh, value and that is in my case is 10 because it doesn't go any higher the reference then you put it in program mode and that is program 5 so uh, I just put program 5 then it says 19 volts so I actually should feed in 19 volts, but I don't have that, so I just type, now I have 10, 0, 0, 0, 7, 4, but I can only push a 7, and then you push enter. Then it is going to put his 10, that takes a little bit. Okay, and now to store it, you need to do program one, program one, store, yes. And then it stores. And now it's calibrated. That's it. It is super, super simple. And of course you want to do this with 19 volts also, but I, I don't have the 19 uh, volts. And uh, you can do the ohm, ohm range by just putting the ohm range and then uh, doing the same thing but then you need a, a proper uh, resistor that you know the value is good i not have that and the same is for the current and the ac you just put it on the setting you want to calibrate program 5 type the value that it is program 1 store yes calibrate it so simple this machine is great. Yeah, and, and look. 5 volt is 5 volt or what? <laughs> yeah, just a little look at the front. You can really see we improved it a lot. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, the top is a pity, but there was so much glue. Zoom in a bit more. Look at this. It is a beauty. Now, that was my video 100, and uh, we uh, nicely fixed this uh, Keatley uh, 195A, and uh, I'm happy with the result, as always. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.